In this video, we'll share the top 15 things to do in Valletta. At number 1, we have St. John's Co. Cathedral. This isn't just any cathedral. Its unique decoration and the awe-inspiring Caravaggio paintings make it stand out from the rest. A visit here promises a blend of history, art, and spirituality. At number 2, we have the Upper Baraka Gardens. These gardens are not only a serene escape, but also offer picturesque archways framing the Grand Harbor, making it a perfect spot for some memorable photos. At number 3, we have the Valletta Waterfront. With a view that many cruise ship passengers wake up to, this waterfront is more than just a docking point. It's a vibrant area with a rich history and a beautiful view of the sea. At number 4, we have the Lascaris War Rooms. Dive deep into history with a guided tour of these war rooms. The narratives here are not only informative, but also engaging, making it a must-visit for history buffs. At number 5, we have the Casa Roca Piccola. This isn't just any historic site. Here, you can meet a parrot, explore the tunnels and caves, and even experience what it felt like to be in a bomb shelter during the war. At number 6, we have the Saluting Battery. This isn't just about cannons and warfare. Every day, a cannon is fired, marking a tradition that has stood the test of time. The reenactors here are not only knowledgeable, but also passionate about sharing the history of the saluting battery. At number seven, we have the Fort St. Elmo National War Museum. Dive into a detailed account of history and witness the grandeur of the fortress. The views of the harbor wall and the Grand Harbor are an added bonus. At number eight, we have the War HQ Tunnel. This guided tour takes you through a historic bunker complex, offering insights into its use during and after the war. It's a journey through time and history. At number nine, we have the Malta Experience. In just 40 minutes, this film offers a comprehensive overview of Malta's rich history, catering to a multilingual audience. At number 10, we have the Lower Baraka Gardens, a peaceful garden on the city's edge. It offers stunning views over the harbor, fort, and the siege bell. At number 11, we have the Three Cities. Explore these beautiful towns across the Bay of Valletta and discover treasures like the Malta at War Museum and the Inquisitor's Palace. At number 12, we have the National Museum of Archaeology. Dive into the Neolithic, Bronze Age, and Phoenician periods and marvel at the wonderful exhibits. At number 13, we have the Baraka Lift. This modern marvel connects the upper Baraka Gardens to the Grand Harbor, offering a unique perspective of Valletta. At number 14, we have Mysterium Fide by Hidden Valletta. Experience the serenity and charm of this place and get a glimpse into the lives of the nuns of St. Catherine. At number 15, we have Paraca San Paul Naufragu. Tucked in a narrow street, this church is not only ornate, but also offers a spiritual retreat in the heart of Valletta. So that sums up my top 15 things to do in Valletta. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.